How fast can a cobra kill a rodent? It's coming up. Yo, Venom Squad, Willie and Venom Central here. Hey, we got a good one for you today. But before we get started, if you're new to the channel, hit my logo and subscribe. Hit the bell notification so you don't miss a chance to see any of my videos. We got some really cool stuff. Today, we're doing a live feeding, and let me tell you something. This is one for the books. This little monocle cobra, he performs a hunt that is epic. It truly is a it's a great video, and I was blown away watching this little guy in action. You guys need to see this. This is this is probably one of the most epic cobra hunts I've ever seen. It is it's really worth watching. I'm impressed by it. <laughs> okay, we're gonna just see how quickly this monocle cobra can dispatch a mouse and oh he's chasing it down wow okay he just got a good bite on it now let's see here he got a couple of good bites on it my goodness Okay, that mouse is already showing signs of envenomation. I mean, I'm really curious to see just how quickly he can dispatch that thing. You know, versus some of our pit vipers that rely on the fangs to, the large fangs actually, to in, inject venom deep into tissue and you know, and cobras have a shorter fang, and it may just take a little bit longer for the venom to take effect, but he is on that thing like crazy, and he's bit it repeatedly. I just want to see if it starts showing some neurological... Yeah, there it goes. Okay. It's only been a minute or two, but it's already, yeah, it's done. He's actually paralyzed right now. Well, I think that pretty much done everything that I would expect with a neurotoxic venom. It's paralyzed that mouse where he can't run around no more. But then again, that little monocle hit him a bunch of times, boy. He bit him probably five times. I have to rewind it and count. But he killed it pretty quickly. That was pretty fast. I'd say, I don't know. I'll have to put a timer on it and see how long it took for that mouse. But uh, it's definitely incapacitated. It's, it's dead now. It has perished. Pretty quick. Not quite as quick as some of the pit vipers that actually have a larger fang than a than an elapid. You know, like our some of our baby neotropical rattlesnakes that actually bite them fuzzies and drill them really quick and they kill them almost immediately. And a lot of that's got to do with fang placement and but even though it is a very toxic venom, but the venom from this monocle cobra is a lot more toxic and just from the delivery system alone, I think it took like maybe a minute and a half. I don't know. You guys time it and tell me what you come up with. But that was a quick kill and an aggressive kill. Oh my goodness. Well, we're going to let this cobra enjoy its meal. I'm going to step away and be quiet. That was a pretty exciting hunt. Wow, they're really ferocious, ain't they? I don't feed monocles live hardly ever, ever. I just don't do it. I give them frozen thawed because they'll eat anything.
But this is just to satisfy my own curiosity on, a, on venom effects and how long it would take for him to dispatch a mouse. I haven't seen it in years. I always feed Frozen Thawed, but this will be a one-time thing only, Venom Squad. For Cobra feedings, anyways. I opt to feed them Frozen Thawed all the time. But that happened pretty quickly. The neurotoxin component in that venom took over very fast. I'm going to lid this little guy up and we'll come back in and check on him in a minute. And you can see he knows I'm here and he's going to get defensive. We want him to enjoy that mouse, so he worked for it. He earned it. What a little ripper, huh? Ted is a just a pisser of a little cobra right there. Now, Jacuthia. Very dangerous animal. Very venomous animal. That just proves it. Killed that mouse pretty quick. <laughs> Nothing to play with. But we're going to lit him up and let him eat. That was something, wasn't it? That little guy is something else. He is a natural born killer, I'll tell you that. But it was a pretty quick kill too. But he's on frozen thaw from here on out. <laughs> he is something else. But anyways, the t-shirts, guys. I've had a lot of guys asking me about t-shirts, and we are actually in the process of a merch page. So, but we wanted to get our hands on them. I'm one of these guys where I want to put my hands on what we're going to put our name on, okay? And I want to make sure that you're getting a good quality product for what you'll pay for a t-shirt. And so we've got a few of them, but actually I was going to do some giveaways. I wanted to give some of my loyal subscribers some t-shirts. And with a giveaway comes a whole bunch of rules and a whole bunch of laws, and it's... It's ridiculous. It really is. And we only ordered a dozen of these just to try them out. And I was going to give them away on the channel. But apparently, and it's not YouTube. YouTube follows state, county, country laws. And the laws are different in every country. And to be fair to everybody. But it's, it's taxation and different things. It's just opening Pandora's box to give away a damn t-shirt. So... Anyways, they'll be available. Our merch page should be up hopefully by the next video. We're working on it. And another thing, we're actually waiting for approval from our, our Patreon account. And I've had several of you guys offer to help fund our channel. And, and I appreciate it. And, and let me tell you, we can use help. Everybody can use help. I mean, and if anybody helps fund our channel, just to let you know, I don't use that stuff I won't use that stuff for personal things it will go for feed for the animals and and a big thing with me is antivenom it will definitely go to upgrade my antivenom stash I keep antivenom for a lot of my animals you know especially you know having you know we got almost 30 bushmasters so we keep a large supply of polyvalent for my central and south american animals and you know, we would like to buy new animals and unbox them and show, look what we got. You know, but we don't get new animals until we've got antivenom for that animal. It's, I mean, everybody claims that they have it, but, you know, we actually do have it. And that's why I've showed my antivenom in several of my videos to prove it, that we keep antivenom. I mean, I, I believe, and this is probably going to piss a lot of people off, but I really don't care. That, you know, if you're claiming to be a professional, if, 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 if you've got a large collection of animals, venomous animals, I mean, for your own safety and for everybody else's safety to have what you need in case of an accident. Not just for yourself, maybe somebody else in your facility. So, you know, we don't acquire a bunch of new animals without having the right antivenom. So, I wish everybody else would follow my protocols, but it's never going to happen. You know, guys are going to say, oh, we've got antivenom for everything. Ask them to prove it. Ask them to show it in their videos or, or, or show their South American box, their African box. Their, you know, just show it. 
put up or shut up. <laughs> I just would like to see everybody do things the right way. You know, Kristen from um, from Kentucky Reptile Zoo put out a really good um, link to show you how to get it. You know, and which I've had it for years, and I've done it on my own several times. And but you know, it's it's not impossible to get. It's really not. It's a lot of red tape. It's a lot of work. You know, it's easy to get the animals. I mean, you can get online and order a damn cobra, but literally, you can't get online and order any venom. You got to put some work into it to get it. You know, it's a lot of red tape. But anyways, enough of my rambling. We would use the money to upgrade our anti-venom, so maybe then we can get some more animals and educate you guys about different species and help feed all these animals. I mean, we got 200 snakes. That's It's an expensive bill, and we're in the process of building another facility so we can open to the public, you know, so we're a bona fide serpentarium open to the public. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. That little monocle, he's something else, ain't he? He definitely put a hunt on, boy. But anyways, hit the logo and subscribe. Hit the bell notifications. And give us a thumbs up. This is Willie from Venom Central. Checking out. Later.